Hi mate, my name is Tom Morgan from Modality Systems and today I'm going to show you how we in the development team use Microsoft Teams and how we use Microsoft Teams for our impact assessment. Impact assessment is a variant of our modality diagnostic software where we, it's a short term engagement where we work with a customer for a limited period of time and give them insight and information about their Skype for Business environment. For the customer this is really good because it's, for them it's run as a service, there's very little for them to set up and configure. But for us it means managing multiple customers at the same time and they're all in different stages from planning, from delivery and implementation through support and monitoring later. Keeping track of all that is a real challenge for us. Um, so I'm going to talk to the team today and see how we're using Microsoft Teams and how that's helped uh, some of that happen. Now I'm in the uh, development office for Modality Systems and behind me are some of the guys uh, from the impact assessment team. So I'm going to go and talk to them and find out how they use Microsoft Teams. So over here we have two of our developers, Rob and Rush. I'm going to start by talking to uh, Rob specifically um, about how we use Microsoft Teams to uh, keep track of all the different customers we have using the impact assessment. Hi Rob, how's it going? Hi, good, thanks. You're good. So, I know that um, Teams came along at a really interesting time um, for, for us and for where we were with Impact Assessment. Can you sort of briefly describe um, the sort of information that you need to keep um, and you have to work with and who you need to talk to in order for us to deliver our impact assessments? Um, so we use Teams to track our impact assessments and we have to keep track of, we've had up to 15 customers at once, all of them have 10, 15 nodes online, pieces online, that we need to keep online 24-7. Um, during the course of that, they go up and down, and we need to keep the nodes up as much as possible. There's lots of, little, lots of threads to kind of keep yeah. hold of, yeah. So I imagine, so how has Teams kind of changed, like, from where you were before Teams came along to where we are now? Because I know kind of Teams came along almost halfway through like, uh, when we were running the project. Yeah, so originally we had all of the information for the project was in completely different places. We had some Power BI, um, and information about the nodes in SharePoint, um, we had email round files, if things went down we sent emails, we sent IMs, and everything was in different places and it was always going back to one or two people and trying to even chase down information to, to act on. Um, so teams really helped us with it because we could really pull all of that data together into one place using all of the connectors and tabs. So when you come in in the morning, you've got you know maybe 15, 20 different customers all running impact assessments. They're all at different stages. What's your what do you do when you come in in the morning to like work out who needs like attention first or who needs stuff done or how does that work? Um, so I think normally it's a uh, guy Carl in our team who will look and see what's happened, which notes have been down, any problems, he'll tag me messages from teams, I can have a look at them, look at the data in Power BI, and chat with different problems. So, so that's, that's cool, so you get the, you, you use like the, the activity, you use like tagging, so yep. you can come in the morning and say, well actually of these kind of 20, there's two or three that have got red dots by them, those are probably the ones that had activity overnight, yep. um, exactly. that makes sense. Okay. Yep. That's cool. cool. And, and we use, I gather you use Teams as well, sort of internally to the team. So, yeah. talk, tell me about that. So, yeah, we used it in the development team on actually the project to build the those in the first place. Mm. Um, again, it was really good. I think the whole informal chat, the persistent storage mm. of it really helps. So, we can, if someone finds a problem, they can add something in Teams, we can come back to it later, tag some extra information in it, and really use it to keep track of what we're working on where we are. Mm. And that's something we, again, had in loads of disparate places, and it was hard to meet you. Yeah. I know you've done some uh, development work actually in teams to make like, your life easier and, how, and running impact assessment easier. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, so what we did was we made a connector mm -hmm. um, which sends a message into teams every time one of the nodes goes down for any of the customers. Okay, so across the whole board, like all the automated stuff, like if anything happens, yeah. you've got like a, a thing that 
Yeah. Yeah. Notifies you. Indeed. So I can show can you, you that. Show me? Yeah, that'd be great. Um, we've got a whole separate channel, which is no mm -hmm. down alerts. Uh -huh. So this is the connector I created, which goes off and checks our database of calls, and if it finds a node hasn't made a call in a set amount of time, we just drop an alert. So here, there's some customers saying this node is down, not working. Yeah. yeah. And so that really helps us be more proactive about keeping up with previously before we had this. It relied on someone going to Power BI, knowing yeah, yeah. which things should be up, and yeah, yeah. And now that information comes to you, that's really cool. All right. Thanks, Rob. Good. Um, the other, the other side of this is in how we take the data we are um, gathering and how we present it to customers and how we look at that data because all our impact assessment works by gathering an awful lot of information and then we make sense of it, we analyse it and we report it to the customer. And that involves internal collaboration as well. And we do a lot of that with Power BI. But actually getting that information so in one place so we can all collaborate on it, is it has historically been a challenge. Um, I'm going to talk to Rush now because Rush deals with all the kind of data side of impact assessments. So, Rush, how's it going? Yeah. Uh, so I know you've done a lot uh, with Power BI, and I know that you've found Teams to be a really good way of getting that if the information that we've already created that we create in this room and getting it out to everyone else in the company and, and everyone else externally. Um, can you show me kind of how that works, or talk me through that process? So I know uh, earlier I had a particular customer we were working on and I asked you to, um, to, to add the Power BI file for that customer into Teams and I know she hasn't done it yet. Um, I was wondering if maybe we should do it now? Yeah. That'd be cool? That was a good time. All right. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do it. Yeah. So within Teams, you can yeah. the customer channel. Yeah. Just simply kind of click the add button, go to Power BI. So yeah, we are in yeah, point to call this. I think it kind of excites me in the sense with your company and your current position is what you're using to test. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's like my workspace. It's very, very interesting. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to start the file. Uh -huh. And so, just for you to say, so what we're looking at, oh, okay, so you've got the workspace and then underneath that it shows all the reports in that workspace. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, cool. So having this option, Check here means that as soon as I add this into this channel, uh -huh. everyone who's in the channel would be notified. Also. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so everyone gets like a little message to say, like, this Pavi I've got. Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Let's just save that. Mm -hmm. oh, so that's cool. So it's created a new tab across the top. Yeah. yeah so yeah. everyone now coming into this channel will be able to see that. That's really cool. Yeah. That's as easy as that. Easy as that. Yeah, that is super easy. Yeah, so now anyone who comes here, they can see the Power BI, um, and, and they can now we can collaborate on internally, and we can also then use that to present to the customer. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. That's really yeah. I can see how, um, you know, what was your process before? I, I imagine you like emailing it round, or like putting it on a like SharePoint, something like that, or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's all great. So really so really 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 very cool. Brilliant. Excellent. Thanks, Rush. So that's just a, a kind of brief overview of um, how we in the development team are using Microsoft Teams and how we've found it makes our life a lot easier for collaborating with both um, our colleagues internal, internally, but also with our customers as well, and keeping track of uh, all our different interactions with customers as we deliver impact assessment.